Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. This top five video is going to be a reality check for those who are inaccurate in Call of Duty Mobile. And if you dislike this list, I'm just going to have to assume that you like missing shots. I'll make it all come true. So let's not mess around. Honorable mention straight in is the brand new FR. Now hear me out. This gun shoots so fast for an assault rifle. If you have that brand new legendary gun skin, the iron sight is incredible. And also check this out. I didn't realize while I was recording my video for this, but if you look at the FR just in front of the stock, you can see it has a kill streak counter. A kill streak counter, dude. I've been asking for that forever. And then when you get on a crazy high kill streak, the guy smirks and grins at you. That's fabulous. But don't let that distract you from the fact that this is actually a really solid gun. But it's definitely not a top five weapon in the game. So coming in at number five, we have none other than the newly nerfed ASM-10 with 25 bullets per magazine. And I would say a slight range nerf, but actually it was a significant range nerf. I mean, this thing, it's, it's not looking good for the ASM-10. And it's fair to say that I'm completely happy with that. Screw that gun. However, being a three shot assault rifle, it's still a top five weapon because three shot assault rifles considering that the majority of engagements and fights in this game are close range are just going to be the best guns in the game it's just facts but i do believe that this gun is far more balanced now and i don't think it will be getting another nerf anytime soon especially with the other guns on this list and those guns they're gonna shock you the sm10 effectiveness of prime is very good close range however with that range nerf it it's a down a couple notches and there's other guns in the assault rifle category and other categories that just completely demolish it now so for effectiveness of prime i'm giving it a 40 and also for versatility I'm giving it a 39 because it's kind of bouncy even if you use great attachments i don't recommend full spraying this gun across the map so it gets respectable but not great 79 out of 100 so the next honorable mention is the locust i know what you're thinking berg why the hell is the locust not higher up this list or at least in the top five well hear me out the Locust, although critically acclaimed by the majority of the sniping community, actually only has the same lethal zone as the DLQ if you put the stopping par mag on it. And with that stopping par reload, the MS time to scope in is around 13 milliseconds longer. But enough talking about the bad things with the Locust. I mean, it's still insane, along with pretty much every other sniper rifle in the game currently. They're all a bit too easy to use if you play the game every day. But like I said, this top five is for people who don't miss shots and the people who do miss shots are not going to like it at all. Personally, for me, the feeling I get when I hit my shots with the Locust is arguably the best feeling of getting a kill in the entire game, which is part of the reason why I think the entire sniping community loves using it so much because it just feels so damn good to use. So coming in at number four, it's the second fastest killing assault rifle close range in the game, only dethroned by that of the M16 burst assault rifle and it's the DR Edge. However, this only applies when you're using the OTM mag because without it, it's trash. Let's be real. DRM with no OTM, it's a terrible gun, ATM. I've blabbered on about the DR Edge so much in the past months. I don't even think you guys need an introduction or anything from me. I'm just gonna go straight into the effectiveness of Prime and the versatility. The DR Edge is a three shot assault rifle. You guys already know all the basics about the gun. On the Fergometer, however, effectiveness of Prime, which is the close range encounters, of course, because it's currently the second fastest killing close range assault rifle in the game second to only the m16 but who uses that we'll give it a solid 45 out of 50 on the fergometer and then for versatility it lacks a little bit in the really long ranges so i'm gonna give it a 40 out of 50 on the fergometer with the grand score of 85 so the next honorable mention and also the last on this list is none other than the DLQ. You probably expected this to be on the list considering the Locust was an honorable mention and both the Locust and the DLQ have been the favored snipers over the entire history of Call of Duty Mobile. Well, I'm here to tell you that their time at the top is over. However, this sniper rifle is still extremely great. Like stated previously, slightly better ADS time than the Locust, better lethal zone than the regular Locust. However, the same with stopping par. Its range capabilities are absolutely 
absolutely phenomenal because it's a sniper, of course. And pretty much everyone, including myself, loves this gun. I would refer to it as the DR Edge of the sniper world. However, being the DR Edge in this meta will only get you so far. And that's why it's only an honorable mention on this list as there is still two snipers. Yeah, that's right. Trust me. Over the past few days of testing these guns, I couldn't believe it myself about how good the two snipers on this list remaining are. Oi, before I get into the top three spot, hit that damn subscribe button. Come on, I'm trying to reach my country's population and subscribers here, dude. So, the number three spot, what could it be? It is the Arctic 50. I'm about to teach you guys a valuable lesson in life. If there's ever a weapon that can one shot in a shooter game, a first person shooter game, anywhere in the body, and it's not on the top five list, the person making the list is wrong. Therefore, for every single gunsmith list that I have made, where I did not know that the Arctic 50 could one shot everywhere on the body with a stopping power mag and failed to put it in the top five, I was wrong. And as much as it pains me to say that I was wrong, it's facts. I was completely wrong by never putting this in a top five list. But don't let me be being an idiot distract you from the fact that this gun is an absolute god. You ever want to camp on a head glitch? Arctic 50. You ever want to protect a bomb site? Arctic 50. You ever want to hold the B flag? Arctic 50. However, it comes with a severe detriment, which is exactly why not very many people used it in the first place the recoil after you shoot a shot. It might as well go to the moon and back before you can slap their face with the second shot and get back on track. I'm telling you, it is a big kicker. You guys remember what I said at the start of this video? It's not for the people that miss shots. It's for those that are already accomplished in the skill game. Is that you? Then you need to go to your loadout and stick on this damn class. Run it inside of ranked. Maybe if you're scared, go into practice versus AI, then public matches and then ranked. But for real, this is what you need to test out for season one. Effectiveness of Prime, which is long range, 50. Versatility. It's small magazine size means that if you are spamming close range with your no scopes, this could be horrendous. However, the chances are you'll hit one out of five of those shots by 95% of the time. Those stats are not credible by law. Do not trust them. So I'm going to have to give it 43 out of 50, giving it a grand total score of 93 out of 100. Number two. For some strange reason, this gun received a buff by increasing its range and also increasing its magazine size size like it already wasn't insane enough the man of war was already a top five gun and it received a buff it was a top three gun and it received a buff i don't know what the developers were smoking when they decided to just go ahead and buff the man of war but what they've went and done is completely tore up the meta because it's the only gun that i see and it's the only gun that i really want to use when it comes to the entire assault rifle category i mean it's three shot potential now is through the roof and these outdated range graphs that you're seeing that look insane as they are it's way better than they even state which is mind-boggling anyway we have haven't got all day. Effectiveness of Prime, which is three shot range, close range. The only thing that beats it is a sniper. So it gets a 49 out of 50. Versatility it is damn juicy, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not as juicy as number one on this list, which you will all be shocked by. So it gets a 45, leaving a nice juicy score of a 94 out of 100 on the Fergometer. Number one. I need you all to hear me out with this. Here are some of the attributes of this current weapon. It's a sniper. It scopes in faster than the DLQ. Scopes in faster than the Arctic 50 and the Locust. It shoots faster than all of these weapons as well. You can have more bullets in your magazine with this gun without having to screw over your ADS time. It's lethal area and one shot kill potential is the same as the Locust without stopping power. The mobility on this weapon is cracked and it is by far the most aggressive sniper that you can use in the entire game. In fact, it's so good and I'm so confident about how good it is that I am asked the world-renowned stats guru, PathyXC, about what his opinion was on this weapon. We're talking about the outlaw. Previously, the worst sniper in the game pre-Gunsmith, Path said this. It's so good that he doesn't even want people to know about it because it's that good. Of course, he stated that every sniper's broken, which they are because of how fast they can scope in. And this is the fastest scoping sniper rifle. Remember I said about it being aggressive? Well, that's where it lacks. After 30 meters, one shot range dips. But tell me this. In a game of search and destroy, domination, hardpoint, team deathmatch, frontline, any mode, how often do you take a gunfight outside of 30 meters?
That's right, never. The only time you have a gunfight over 30 meters is when you're camping at the back of the map and being what everyone hates in Call of Duty Mobile, a camper who stands in the same spot for the entire game. Some people are gonna call me an idiot, a dumbass, stupid, washed up, irrelevant for stating that the outlaw is the best weapon in the game. And I'm going to tell you this right now. See, in two weeks, those same people are going to be the ones that said they always used the outlaw before I made this video. With a gun that gets an effectiveness of prime of 49 out of 50 and a versatility rating of 47 out of 50, because it doesn't matter if it's close range, you can aim in faster than assault rifles, submachine guns, and many other guns. As long as you're accurate, this gun's the best gun in the game. And for those of you watching this weeks after its creation, I'm sorry I ruined Call of Duty Mobile. I'm sorry I ruined season one of Call of Duty Mobile.